Daily conversations. Transportations. Should we take a taxi or a bus to the mall? Let's take a bus. It's impossible to get a taxi during rush hour. Isn't that a bus stop over there? Yes. Oh, there's a bus now. We'll have to run to catch it. Oh no, we just missed it. No problem. There'll be a, another one in ten minutes. Your English is very good. Sorry, do you speak English? Yes. What can I help you with? Yes. Could you please show me where's the post office? It's that way. You go straight ahead, past three blocks, then turn left. You will see the post office right there. Thank you so much. I've only been in town a few days, so I really don't know my way around yet. Oh, I know how you feel. By the way, your English is very good. Thanks for your compliment. I've learned English for one year. Oh, good luck to you. Giving advice. Thanks for meeting with me during your lunch hour. I appreciate it. No problem. I'm happy to help. What's going on? Oh, you know the usual. Should I take this new job or do I stick with my current one? Well, I think it's time for change, don't you? They pay you late and you are unhappy. Do you really think so? I know so, and I've been listening to you complain for over a year now. Trust me, take the job. What do you have to lose? Shopping. Trying on clothes. Can I help you? Yes. How much is that skirt? It's forty dollars. Can I try it on? Yes. What size are you? I don't know. Okay. Try a size ten. The changing room is over there. Oh, it's too small. Do you have it in a bigger size? Yes. Here you are. Thank you. It fits me. How was it? I'll take it. At the flower shop. I need some flowers for my mom. It's her birthday. Very well. We have some fresh red roses. How much are the roses? Twenty-five dollars per dozen. That sounds like a good deal. Yes, they're on sale today. I'll take a dozen. Splendid. Will there be anything else? No, the roses will be fine. I'm sure your mom will love them. Buying shoes. Pardon me. Could you help me? Of course. How can I help you? I am looking for a sneaker. What size do you wear? Eleven, please. Here, how do you like these shoes? It's pretty. Can I try it on? Of course, there is a chair to try there. At the pet store. Dad, can we take one of these puppies? I would love to have a puppy, but we can't take one home. We live in an apartment. A dog in an apartment is not a good idea. But Tom, my friend, has a dog, and he lives in an apartment. 
Yes, I know that many people have a dog in their apartment, but I think it's not a good idea for us. If we move to a house, can we have a dog? Yes, you can have a dog. You can also have a cat. I love animals too. But is there any animal we can take home today? I suppose we could take some fish in a bowl. Okay, let's choose some pretty ones from the fish tank over there. Okay, choose one of the small aquarium tanks from the shelf. And then we can go and buy you some fish. Great, thanks dad. Party. Inviting a friend to the party. Hey Jackson, what are you doing this weekend? I'm going to the beach with my girlfriend. But she will have... she'll be busy that day. We are putting together a birthday party for Lisa. Oh, that sounds fun. Where will it be? We thought it would be fun to have a pool party at Leon's house. Oh, good. Can I bring anything? We will be providing hot dogs, soda, pizza, and cake, but people can bring side dishes. I'm assuming that the dress is casual. Dress casually and bring your bathing suit. Wonderful. Just message me the time and date and I'll be there. Decline an invitation. Hey, Tom, do you have any plans for next Tuesday night? No, I do not. What's up? I want to invite you to a barbecue with us at Jane's house. Sally, Linda, Mark, Peter, Lisa, and some of Jane's friends will join in. It was a very crowded party. No, I'm sorry, but I won't participate. Why? Are you busy? No, I'm not. It's because I don't like noise. Oh, it's okay, Tom. Talking to a friend at the party. Hey, Kelly. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Good, thanks. And you? Yeah, I'm well. What have you been up to? I've been really busy, working hard. What about you? I've been busy too. I've also been working hard. Are you having a good time tonight? Yeah, it's good to have some fun. What about you? Yeah, I'm enjoying myself. What are your plans for tonight? Not much. Stay here for a while and have some fun. I'll head home later. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I hope so. What about you? The same. Have some fun and head home later. Good one. Hope you have a good night. Cool, thanks. You too. Talk to you soon. What's your favorite sport? What's your favorite sport? My favorite sport is basketball. <laughs> I've been playing basketball since I was 10 years old. Do you like watching basketball or just playing it? I like watching it. Playing it is also fun. Do you have any memorable memories when playing basketball? Yes, I do. One of the most memorable basketball games uh, was when I was in high school. I won the game for my team for shooting a three-pointer at the last second. It was so great. Which team is your favorite? I don't have a favorite team. I just watch all the games. But you should have a favorite team, right? No. I like the Tigers a little because they won the championship last year. But they are not my favorite. Well, we are going to a Tigers game next week. If you want to come, let me know. We have an extra ticket. 
I'd love to go. That would be fun. Buying a movie ticket. Hi. How can I help you? Oh, hi. I'd like to buy two students' tickets for the Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. Okay. What time do you want to see it? Six thirty. Sorry, all tickets are sold out. What about the other time? Let me check. Um, we have four seats available at five thirty and seven o'clock. Then can I have the two tickets at seven o'clock? Sure, no problem. Are you a student or an adult? A student. Do you have a student ID with you? Can I see it? Okay, sure. Here it is. That will be fifteen dollars. It's time to get up. Good morning, Tom. It's time to get up. Oh, is it seven o'clock already? I'm still sleepy. That's okay, dear. Are you hungry? Breakfast is ready. Yes, mom. I am so hungry. What is for breakfast today, mom? Breakfast is eggs, milk, and bread. Would you like something else to eat? I will prepare for you right now. That's enough. Thanks, mom. I'm on my way. It's a beautiful morning, son. Yes, it's a sunny day. Greeting. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm pretty good. Thanks for asking. No problem. So, how have you been? I've been great. What about you? I've been good. I'm working for a financial company. Oh yes, how does your job go? Although I'm very good, I love this job. Good, lucky to you. Thank you very much. What time is it? What time is the meeting? It starts at six o'clock. When is it over? It is over at seven thirty. Wow, so long. Well, it might finish by seven fifteen. Oh, really? Thank you. What's for lunch? What do you have for lunch, David? I have peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That sounds good. I have tuna pizza. Your tuna pizza is good too, Daniel. I like jelly. Do you want to trade? Sure. I like tuna pizza. This trade is good for both of us. Yeah, it is. Thanks, Daniel. Let's go to see a movie. Let's go to see a movie, Tom. That sounds great, Lisa. What do you want to see? Let's see something funny. Do you know of a good one? Yes, but let's pick one we both like. All right, we can look online. That's a great idea, Lisa. Ordering a meal. <laughs> Hello. I'll be your waiter today. Can I start you off with something to drink? Yes. I'll have an orange juice, please. And I'll have a lemonade. Okay. Are you ready to order, or do you need a few minutes? I think we're ready. I'll have the mushroom soup to start, and the roast beef with mashed potatoes and peas. How do you want the beef? Rare, medium, or well done? Well done, please. 
And I'll just have the fish with potatoes and a salad. At the doctor's office. Hi. What's wrong? I feel unwell and keep vomiting all the time. How long have you felt like this? Nearly two days. It started just before going to bed the day before yesterday. Let me examine you. I will press on your stomach to see if it hurts, and then listen to your heart. Okay. It doesn't hurt when you press my stomach. I just feel tired. Okay. Did you eat something different from usual before you started to feel this way? Yes, I ate a lot of junk food and drank soft drinks the night before. You've got food poisoning. It's not very serious, and you should be better on another day. Oh dear! What should I do? You need to drink lots of water and get plenty of rest. Okay. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. If you are not better in forty-eight hours, come and see me again. Time for dinner. Mary, it's time for dinner. Okay, mommy, I'm on my way. Wow, that's amazing! It's all that I like. Oh dear, then let's eat deliciously. Yes, mommy. Mmm, yummy! I love your chicken, mom. What do you do? Hi, Mark. I want to introduce you to my friend Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, Lisa, what do you do? I'm an English teacher. How about you? What do you do? I work in a hospital. I'm a doctor. At the library. What can I help you with today? When does the library close? The library closes at six o'clock. Does it close at that time every day? Not always. Is the library open on Saturdays? Yes. What time do you open and close on Saturday? The hours are from nine a.m. to six thirty p.m. Okay, thank you very much. Do you need anything else? No, that's all. Thanks. What can I help you with today? I need to check out this book. Do you have your library card? I don't have one. Would you like to apply for one right now? That's fine. I'm going to need you to fill out this application. All right, all done. All right. Now please sign the back of the card. Okay, I've signed it. That's all there is to it. Great. Now can I check out this book? Long time no see. Well, hello there, Mary. Wow, it has been a long time no see. It is great to see you again, Linda. Hello, what a coincidence! I have not seen you in ages. It is great to see you. What are you doing in Manchester? Are you just visiting? I just got a new job in Manchester in finance. So I am shopping for some new clothes. Hey, what do you think of this skirt? Hmm. Well, you remember how much I love black. See, I've got the same skirt as you. <laughs> you always had a great taste in clothes. Well, this is a small world. We must keep in touch. Do you still have my mobile number? 
No, I lost my phone. Here is my new number. Okay, I will save your number. I have to go back to work. Give me a ring so we can arrange dinner sometime. For sure. Take care. Bye. Have a bad cold. Honey, you don't look so good. I think I have a terrible cold. Oh dear, do you know who you got it from? A lot of people in my office are sick. Maybe I picked it up there. Have you taken any medicine? I've taken vitamin C. I think I need some rest. Yes, go back to bed now. Drink much water too. I'll call your office to inform them that you can't go to work today. Okay, honey. Thanks. I'll make hot chicken soup. It's also a good cure for a cold. Actually, I'm not in the mood to eat right now, but I'll try. Talk about music. <laughs> What kind of music do you like? I like pop music. What about country music? Do you like to listen to country music? Yes, I do. What is your favorite country singer? I like Taylor Swift the most. Do you know her? Yes, of course. She's so beautiful and funny. Yeah, I listen to her music every day to relax. Can you play a musical instrument? Yes, I can. I can play piano, but just a little bit. Oh, great! I love the piano. Have you ever been to a concert? No, I haven't. Oh, you should try. It's very exciting. Really? I will. Do you listen to music while doing your homework? <laughs> no. I don't, but I usually sing while taking a bath. Well, I feel like I'm a real singer when in the bathroom. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you also feel like that? I feel my voice is more beautiful when I'm in there. Buying meat. <laughs> I would like to get some meat today. What kind do you need? I need about a pound of ground beef. The ground beef is two fifty four a pound. That sounds good. What else would you like? I also need three pounds of chicken breasts. The chicken breasts are three dollars and twenty five cents a pound. How much will the three pounds of chicken cost altogether? Altogether, it's going to be twelve dollars and twenty nine cents. That will be all right for me. All right, let me get your meat for you. Suggestion. <laughs> I'm bored. Why don't you read a book? Nah, I don't feel like reading. I'm hungry. Let's get something to eat. Why don't we order pizza? That's a good idea. Let's do something tonight. How about seeing a movie? Sure. What movie do you want to see? I've got a headache. Why don't you take an aspirin and rest? Thanks, I will. Where should we meet? How about the coffee shop next door? It's too noisy. Let's go someplace quiet. I need some exercise. How about going for a walk with me? Sure, I'll get my shoes. That was a long day. I'm exhausted. Why don't you go to bed early? I can't. I still have work to do.
I'm broke. Why don't you borrow some money from your brother? I can't. He is broke too. Oceans or mountains? Why? Which do you like better, the ocean or the mountains? I like the mountains. Why? It's so quiet and fresh. That is the perfect place for me to relax. I could hear the birds singing, the whispers of the wind and the trees. Oh, really? I prefer the ocean. The mountains is so quiet, it makes me feel bored. I love diving to watch the corals. I like surfing. Or even lying down and relaxing with a cocktail and listening to the murmuring waves. Hmm. Anyway, go up to the mountain or into the sea, just have fun. I totally agree. Do you have any pets? Hi, Mike. How are you? Uh, hi. I'm fine. Is this your dog? Yes, his name is Rocky. He looks very big. Yes, he's big, but he's very friendly. Do you want to pet him? Yes, as long as he won't bite me. No, he won't. He likes meeting new people. He is lovely, and his fur is so soft. Do you have any pets? No, my mother has a cat. Her name is Toby. Your dog is well trained. A bit. If I did not have him on a leash, he would chase the ducks. How long have you had him? I have had him since he was a puppy, and he is four years old now. Does he eat a lot? Yes, all the time. I need to go to the pet shop now and buy him more food. Would you like to come? They have lots of animals to see. Yes, that would be interesting. Let's go. Let's go to the beach. Andrew, are you going to watch television all day? No. Is there something you want to do? It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. We should do something outdoors. Okay. What should we do? Let's go to the beach. Okay. I'll grab the beach chairs and towels and swimsuits. Great! I'll pack some snacks and drinks. Don't forget the sunscreen. Where is it? It's in the bathroom cabinet. Is there anything else we need to bring? I'll bring the camera. I want to take pictures of the sunset. Good idea. The sunset is beautiful at the beach. Complaint about the noise. May I talk to you? Of course. What's the problem? Did you have a party Saturday? Yeah, I did. There was some of my friends came to my apartment. It was very loud. Oops, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize I was making a lot of noise. The noise made it difficult to sleep. I am so sorry if my party kept you up. It's all right, but next time, could you try not to be so loud, please? I'll make sure to do that for you. Thanks, I would appreciate it. Let me apologize again for the noise. Talk about the weather. Good morning. Morning. How are you today? Not so bad, thanks. You? I am good. Apart from all this rain, it's chucking down again. Yeah, it's awful, isn't it? And it's very cold. The weather forecast said it will brighten up in the afternoon. They always say that. Still, I can't complain. It's a lot warmer than back home. Really? 
Where are you from? I'm from Russia. What's the weather like in Russia now? Freezing cold and snowing. Right. <laughs> so this must be like summer for you. Right. But I do like the snow sometimes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.